food today. Watch Rocket Slice last night. Oh, there we go. Which side? Uh, regular. All oh, the size with a different size. All right. Mishan uh, pay out, right? All right. Good morning. So today is Daf Pay Aleph from Baba Basra. So got to the Mishnah uh, Shkech, Rabbi Reis, and, and Levi also, right? First, first couple of days, Levi knows how to go out of town. All right, so Shkech, good for helping out. Hakoyne shne ilanois besoich sode chavero, hareze le kona kark. So one who goes ahead and acquires uh, two trees in a field. So I go to Ozzy's field and uh, say, I want to buy two trees. He says, no problem. We get a price. So I uh, own the two trees, but not the land, uh, but no land. Two, Konakarka, you already go ahead and own the land. Dilu, therefore, since now, let's say the case is, let's say according to the Rabbana, where the land is not sold. So, Dilu lo yishofa, right? So, therefore, since I own no land, and my branches are ultimately going to grow, they're going to grow since over some land, which is not mine, it's still a seller. So, therefore, the seller, since he didn't allow me to give me any land, therefore, he cannot go ahead and cut any branches that go over his yard. And any shoots that uh, grow out from the trunk, Shalo, belongs to the owner of the tree, because I bought the trees from Azi and Ashrashim. Uh, however, if they grow from the roots in the ground, then Shalbalakarka. Then it's the ground, since they're growing up from the ground, right, where you basically can't see it. Three. Therefore, they uh, they belong to the landowner, which would be Azi in this case. The Mesu, and if the trees that I bought from Ozzy and I don't get any land, according to the Rabbanon, they die in no Karka. I don't get the land, in order I can't go ahead and replant or do whatever I'd like there. However, Kanashlosh, if I buy three, so this is according to both Rabbanon and Rabbi Meir, Kana Karka, I do go ahead and acquire the land in between, and therefore Higdilu, and therefore, let's say if they grow some shoots off of the trees and they go over into Ozzy's yard, not the land that's included with the sale between the trees, but other parts of his yard. Uh, uh, he's allowed to go ahead and cut it down. Uh, but any shoots that grow either from the trunk or even from the roots, since the roots are in my ground, they're for shalom. It belongs to me. And if the trees die, I get the land and I can go ahead and replant. So that was the mission. Fine. Know the page. Hey, Aleph, Tanan Hasa, we learned over there. I don't know what Pei Aleph. And then, oh, Pei Aleph, my bad, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, 80, yeah. <laughs> there we go. I still can't find it. Yeah, I just did a mission. It's two after testing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. Iron test is a big one. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I All followed right. what you said, though. All right, good. 100%. Good, 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 good. I appreciate the compliment. So, Tanan Hasa. <laughs> Now, so we learn almost an identical mission. Let's see what's going on here. So one who goes ahead and buys two trees and his friend. Same exact case. I buy from Ozzy. Uh, we got it's a fig tree. I got figs growing. We're in Eretz Yisrael. Maybe the Einoi Kaira. According to the Tanakama, I bring the Bikurim. Right, to you, Shalayim. Mm -hmm. However, I do not read the Psukim. I do not read the Psukim. There's a certain portion that you say in the Psukim that these are the, the, the fruits that Hashem you know, gave to me on my land, and I bring it to you as an offering, and they give it to the Kohen. I'm sorry? It's yeah. Wonderful. Yes. Right. It's, uh, yeah. And so he goes ahead, he brings it, he waves it. So he's maybe being a Kairat. And Ramer, maybe the Kairat. Ramer says, no, no, you bring it, just like a button, but you even say the Psukim. Now, one would think for a second, okay, actually, this sounds like our Mishnah. Our Mishnah says the Rabbanon do not, when you buy two, you do not acquire the land. And that's the case of you bring the Truma, but you don't say the Parsha. And Rabbi Meir, who says you own the land, says you bring the Bikurum and you say the Parsha, right? Sounds like uh, maybe it's the, the same, you know, like it's one, it's the same thing. So Rabbi Yudam Shmuel says Rabbi Yudam Shmuel. And the Bach takes out in a shuk, let's say it writes to a tree, whatever it is. But even for fruits, if I do not own the land, 
I still go ahead and say the parsha. In other words, it's not the same as mm-hmm. it's not correlated according to Shmuel. Me buy why you want to say that Shmuel? Why are you why are you forcing yourself to say that? Right? It says no. I mean, they taught me Mishnah Yisera. Okay, you have a second Mishnah. Mishnah, let's see. Our Mishnah says Tana uh, the Yesh Karka. You go ahead and you buy two trees according to a mayor. You get the land in between. So if I own the land that I own the trees, she said that maybe the Kaira. It's obvious you don't need to state that so you go ahead and bring Truma and uh, you say the Parsha of the Bikuru. It's Ella. It must be that there has to be a Chiddush there. So it must be Shamino. It must be that the Demachlokas of there is not Poli Bakarka or not. And Rav Meir, uh, in that case, would say that you bring up, uh, in that case, yes, that you bring up say it. Uh, very, right, exactly, right. Very good, right. So, Mamash, next couple lines. Right, very good, right. I, Vok Siv, how can you go ahead, if it's Paris being a Shukhari Mayor, how can you go ahead and Vok Siv, the possibility that, that which you state also says, that she Tobi Me Arzacha, they bring from the land. So the bar answers no how uh 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 Huzars. That over there is telling you, no, 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 stop that the land is given up to you, but to you being the Jewish people. I boxi admasakh, right? The 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 land itself. So the mute uh 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 if an akum owns the land and then it's the trees in there, then you don't bring Bikur. I boxi Vashina Sati Li that you gave me. Sounds like it was personal, you gave me land. They have to leave Suze the Zabimu. Right now, you gave me money if I does, and I use that money to buy or the rights to a tree to buy the first fruits, and and therefore the the fruits I'm bringing as a bikurim. So Macy Rabba, this is all nice and dandy, but until Rabba found this Bryce, it says Hakoina Elon Echad, one who goes ahead and acquires one tree beside Shelchavero in someone else's yard, where he does not uh, go ahead and acquire any really sort of land. Maybe Veina Kaira Lefisha Lo Kana Karka Divi Rav Meir. You do not go ahead and say the parish of Truma because it's not your land. You didn't acquire the land. That's the opinion of Rabbi Meir. So this is not like Shmuel. So Tiyufta, it's Taka, a good Kasha on uh, Shmuel. Fine. Bottom line. Omer le Rabbi Shemel Yaki and le Rabbi Elozar. So he said, Rabbi Elozar, so do me a favor. My time the Rabbi Meir. What is the reason according to Rabbi Meir? Right, the Elon Echon. In the case of he one buys one, uh, that he's maybe the Eina Kaira. He does not own the land that he brings, but he does not go ahead and say the parsha of Truma. Well, my time at the And what is the reason, according to the Rabbanan, when it comes to two trees? They also, you're maybe the Eina Kaira. Some are low, Dabar Shri Shainim, Shalom, Amu, Botam, to Shainim, the Vesa Magic, the Vesaini. You're asking me now, like I'm over here in front of the uh, the tzibur, you're asking me in public to give me a, 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 a reason that they didn't give. What are you trying to embarrass me? So my rabbi, rabbi says, no, my kushu, what's so schwer? Dilma, Rabbi Meir, be Elon Echad, so you mistake. Like, maybe Rabbi Meir would say that, look, there's even a, 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 a tzad to say, so I'm doubtful, that if I buy a tree from Ozzy, or the rights to a tree from, you know, I get the, the tree from Ozzy, Maybe I get the tree and the roots. Like I get the you know the whole package, right? Maybe not, right? So maybe the suya zaygile, and therefore you don't go ahead and say the parsha. And for Rabban, and according to Rabban, Mishnei when it comes to two trees, maybe you say the mistake of Maybe they don't say you don't give you for sure. Don't get the land in between. They say we're in doubt, and therefore you don't go ahead and do it, right? Which lochayra will come back to the machlekes of Rabbi Kiva and the Rabbanan that we've seen in the previous parak. Right, whether the seller is generous, right? If the guy's generous, I'm selling you two trees and I'm going to include plants, right? If the guy's not generous, maybe, you know, it would just be the two trees. But if you didn't say anything else, I'm going to include anything else. So, something from the outside, not to say it. What? Why, if it's something, why would you not say it? What's the downside? Okay, so you don't have uh, Very good. So this is bothering me for the first block. And uh, the, the, it's going to be the, the top of uh, uh, the, the next staff is going to ask the question. Because mm-hmm. right, that was literally by me the whole time. I'm like, oh, I have such good Tasha. I don't understand. It's like the mess like the shipper or something. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, uh, very good. Uh, I, maybe we should uh, switch seats here, you know? Yeah. I right, very good. I put this nice. So. Yeah. So they say, uh, my push is uh, right. So he says, I'm going to say that I'm going to say that I'm going to say that where it says, I am in the snake lay, but how could you say there? Let's say Ramir is like, but how could Tony Ramir says you buy one tree or maybe the ain't a curry? Why? Lefi shalo kana karka. He says, Befavor, that no, you, 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 it's a suffix. He says, You don't acquire the Ramir. So, Ava, okay, you have to change other words. There's shema like kana karka. 
right? Perhaps he didn't go ahead and acquire the car. Okay, now comes another case. Okay, so let's go on. So the person brings it, he's maybe in a kare, it's like a suffix according to you. I believe should do malab bikurim in who. Let's say it's not bikurim. So there's these figs he's bringing out is not bikurim. But come ayo fulun liyazara. Now and he's bringing fulun liyazara. Now this line is a little schwer because normally, right, you cannot say chef fulun liyazara. Right? It doesn't mean you, who says maybe you can't bring your your lunch. You got your peanut butter and jelly. You can bring it there, right? Mm -hmm. I can't bring an animal there and chef it, right? In, in, the, in the basement, you have the chef that the chulin outside and hectish inside, but. But why can't they bring food in, right? So it could be that if you're going to bring in something and doing a form of avoida, so then there could be issues with that. So that's like a gzera, like the abundance. So in other words, I'm bringing in chulin because it's not bikura. Maybe it's, you know, outside the parsha because I don't own the land. I just own the tree. And therefore, I'm really bringing a chulin and doing the waving and giving to the kohen as a, a, a type of offering, mm -hmm. Right? And therefore, maybe it's an issue to call me out of So our answer is the Magdish. You're worried about Chulin? Okay, so he's Magdish. So remember, let's say he has 100 figs. He's bringing them as his, in his basket. So he's bringing it at the, as the Chulin. So he's the Magdish. Okay, so the question is, if they're Bikurim at all, if they're Bikurim, then they have to do Shah. They have to do Shah. Right. And, they're and, they're right. So and, you're saying if it's a suffix, whether or not they're Kadosh, you can be Magdish. Okay, all right. Yes. Right. right. Now, so he, so let's say he's Magdish. So now we got let's think it out, right? Whenever you say, okay, we can do it this way, so now let's take out the set. Okay, so he's mocked the shit, right? So he says, I have a boy, Michilo. So, but the Kohen gets to eat it. Now, if it was figs that were donated to the Mitosh, what do you do? There's nothing to offer the Mitosh. You don't build it into the temple. What do you do? You have to basically sell it and use those funds for the Mitosh, mm -hmm. right? So how can the Kohen, who's right. receiving this basket of figs, right, mm -hmm. which either could be just Hectish right. or is Bikurim, how can he go ahead and eat it? So our answer is the Park Lou. He takes $10. He says, okay, this is the uh, this money is going to Hectish if the fruit is Bikurim. So therefore, this money is just going to Hectish and I'm eating Bikurim. And if it was not Bikurim because I didn't own the land, then this is hectic, and this ten dollars is redeeming the kedusha of the figs. Now go out to the ten dollars that goes to uh, uh, hectic funds, and then I, I redeem it. And I can go ahead and eat the figs. Oh. Uh, so I says, but, how much are you supposed to bring it out? Right. So I, I think, I don't know if there's a shear or recommended. The, I think it's the first uh, the first harvest or the first batch, a certain amount. Right. Yeah. Uh, it's sort of like a basket full or something. Right. There's how much you actually produce. Right. Yeah. I don't think it's not a percentage. I don't think it's a percentage, but I think it's with the basket. Right. It's the first Significant. One. Right. Well, it's the first, first time around. The first one's the bloom. You go and you tie a piece of string around. Right. It. It's how many the whole tree. It's not the whole tree. No, no, no. It's just right. a sample. First one's the right. So now you're saying it's a certain. Oh, yeah. You have to bring the first one. Right. I don't think. Right. I don't think it's the exact shear. It's like Truma. Truma is like a very also like two percent. Is it one fortieth? One sixtieth? Right. I understand. Right. 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 So I, I don't. I think it's even less than that. So where yeah, that is like third pair of right. But that's like ballpark, and this is less than ballpark. So our answer is okay. He he redeems it. Then the guy, then the coin takes it. So okay, so Laura says, okay, let's think about it. Okay, but we have another question that arises. I have a dumb lab becoming. Let's say it's not become. So you bring the hundred figs. The reason why I said a hundred, right, is because of this next question. I have a dumb lobby miser. Now, normally I have a hundred, so I gotta go ahead and get from that hundred, I gotta give at least, let's say, two for Truma, right? Which is like two percent, and I gotta go ahead and give ten. Right, uh, you know, for my, by my Sarisha, and then I got to go ahead and let's say give another nine for uh, my Sushani. So, what, what about or my Sarani, right? Depending on which year, okay. So, the problem is if it's not to be Kurib and I'm bringing it in here, so you know, I give to the Kohen, but what about troops of Meisters? So, when it says the Mafri Shlu, he separated it, and then also, in other words, he separated from this basket, let's say, of a hundred, he separated and also gave it to the Kohen. So, Okay, let's think about it. You got a couple of issues here. So, B, Shlomo, I understand. So, he separated, let's say, the Shruma Gadayla and the Ayavle of the Kohen. Because what's your obligations to Shruma Gadayla? You got to separate it and give it to the Kohen. And 
perfect. I'm giving you the coven. So either way, you're getting the truma gudayla, or so. Uh, if there is an afkin, uh, I, I assume both have to be be eaten. But the hara, I would say actually, truma for sure. I mean, truma for sure. Uh, but the, I assume bikura maybe also. I don't. Anyways, he gives it to him. No problem. Okay, meister ani. Okay, uh, excuse me, meister sheni. So what's required of meister sheni? Right, normally to eat it in your shalim. Where's the base of mikdash? Your shalim. Okay, perfect. Uh, you, get, you want your meister sheni? Take your meister sheni, Mister Cohen. Go ahead and eat it here now. All right, Nami. So yeah, you lay. Ah, not me. You lay the coin. I also gives it the coin. I'm all confused. Where's your tie, or put on your other shirt, or something? All right. So he says, yeah, the coin. So he goes, I my surani. Yeah. Where are you, my surani? Not me. So you yeah, lay the coin on So here's what you do, right? With the ani that you choose, that yeah, you select, make sure it's somebody who is fit to be uh, a recipient of my ani, mm-hmm. right? And therefore, okay, he, he also takes the Maeser Ani. Okay, so we're three for three. So, Ella Maeser, El Maeser Isha, what up? Maeser Isha, the lady who, right? That, which goes to the lady. This guy's, how are you going to do that? So, Laman, who are you going to give it to? So, the answer is, yeah, the calling. Give it to the calling. Why? To Rebbe Ezra Zaya, like the Sheet of Rebbe Ezra Zaya, the Tanya, we're going to embrace the Truma Gadoy Law, the calling. Truma Gadoy Law, the right, the first thing that the Truma is given is given to the Kohen, right? And the Maeser Isha, the Maeser Isha goes to the Levi, the Rebbe Kiva, that's the bit of Rebbe Kiva. And Rebbe El Azar, Rebbe El Azar, Rebbe Azar, Rebbe Azar, Maeser Isha, and the Bach takes out the Ath, the Kohen, right? It goes to the Kohen. So, we basically, we, uh, we're we good. Truma Gadoy goes to the Kohen, Maeser Shani eating your Shalai, the, the Kohen is poor, so you eat the Maeser Ani, and he also gets the Maeser Isha. So your question of Trusa Maestras is not a question. So now we we seem to be good. So you're allowed to give coin so. Right. So now we're right. Some says everybody's allowed to eat Maestras. Well, everyone could eat it, but you have to right. But you, you, you given to you, 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 right. So now, if it's supposed to go to the lady, I couldn't give to the coin. Anybody can eat it. Right. Right. So he says, "I the Dilma be Kormino the boy a Korea." So maybe it is because he needs Korea. So go ahead and just peel all my carrots. You go ahead and bring Bikurum. You get so excited. You finally did it. You get the basket. You walk away. Oh, I didn't say the Pesukim. It's not Ma'ake. You're Yetzi, the Mitzvah, and you're good. So we didn't get to your question yet, right? It's going to get Amun Beis, or Amun Alf in this case. I will low. Wait, it's not Ma'ake. Ba'omar Abzeira, kol ha'ruyu l'bila, ain't bila ma'kevis bo. V'sh'ain ha'ruyu l'bila, bila ma'kevis bo. So we have a halacha when it comes to menachos. Now menachos, let's say you go ahead and you mix the, you have the oil and the flour and you put it together and you got to mix it together. Now, let's say a person doesn't mix and he just offers the menachah without mixing the oil together, right? So the lach is, if, let's say it was a regular, now I could have mixed it and I brought it and I forgot to do it. It's okay, you're yet safe with the other. But let's say it was something that I didn't mix it, why? Because it was so big, it was more than 60 Israelim, right? Which is so big, I can't go ahead and mix it. Then, I'm not say even if I don't do it. So, mixing it is not necessarily the big component. The major thing is the ability to go ahead and mix it. So, maybe the same thing here. It's one thing if I go to Yushalayim and I go ahead and give it, I was supposed to say the Parsha, and I didn't say the Parsha, you say But if I can't say the Parsha, Maybe it shouldn't work, just like over there by Menachos. We're in the bottom of K. Aleph, Moment Bays. All right. So Gemara says, no. So he must hold it. The Rebbe said, Hanina, that you can even go ahead and bring it, even if you're not going to go ahead and be able to state the Parsha, uh, such as, what's the case? Diyamar, three lines from the bottom, and pay Aleph, Moment Bays. Dhamra, but, and Meshigam, Biat, Shaliyah. Let's say I go ahead, and I grow my crops, I harvest them, and then I go ahead and give it to... Alan, or either one, right? Either Alan, Alan from the back row, to go ahead and bring my Vikura, right? So in other words, I was the one who harvested them, and they were the ones who bring it, who brought them. All right, that's one case. Or let's say I assign John Doe, do me a favor, John Doe, grow my uh, crops or harvest my crops, and then go ahead and bring the Vikura, right? And then that guy, who went ahead and was supposed to bring it, died. The guy who harvested died, and someone else had to be like a second shlech, or I myself had to go ahead and bring it. Maybe vein In such a case, you still go ahead and continue and bring it to your shalayim, and you bring it without saying the parsh. 
my time of what's the reason? See, the Pasuk says, right? It says over there, right? 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 And you take and you bring. Ad. Mm -hmm. Shabbat Shalom. Hey, that's right. That's what the who said Mark. Is Mark? Mark is on top. Yeah. He said Ad Shem Lekicha Aviyavo Aviyachod. Right. Until both of them are done by the same person. So the parsha that said. He didn't get any coffee. Who? You. He, he, what, who, he didn't get any coffee? No, I thought you didn't get any. Oh, no, no, I, I usually bring. He's good. He's like he wants to warm it up. He's not done yet. Now he's going to make you coffee. All right, so. All right, so. So the truma has to be performed, or not the truma, the, 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 the taking, the harvesting, and the bringing should be performed by the same person. But if it's not done by the same person because of unusual circumstance or just because it wasn't set up that way, it was a shaliach, or the person who did it died and someone else had to bring it, nevertheless, you're maybe ve'enay kare. So to over here, you could be maybe ve'enay kare with this suffix bekur. And Amar le Rav Acha bread the Rav Avi the Rav Ashi nichti. I understand. Says Ale. Correct. So I understand. Amar le Rav Acha bread the the Rav the Rav Ashi nichti. Let's take a look at it. Suke Nino Lekri. I don't understand. Suke me Tyra. It's a parsha. Was a fight. Suke whatever. Go say it. It's like we do in the morning. Are we going to go ahead and hit this man Kriyashma? So I'm going to say Kriyashma before Shul. So if, and he basically said it tonight, if we make this man of Kriyashma, so then I'll do it later with the Birchas Kriyashma. And if he, and therefore, my saying of Shema right now, I'm just saying Sukim, right? I'm just saying Sukim. Person is a suffix. He says Shema. Okay, so say it again. If I said it earlier, so okay, I'm just saying reading Torah right now. So what's the big deal about reading Torah? Mm -hmm. Right, and as he uh, got, uh, uh, nailed the tarot, right? Because it appears appears the guy is coming and saying, "This is you know the, uh, from my land and this and that. It's not your land." So therefore, it's mixed like a That's one tarot. And Rav Meshar Shibrei, the Rav Chia Amar Duma Asi Lavkino Mitzuma Meiser. Perhaps what's going to happen? Remember, we said all well, before when you give it to the Kohen, you're going to separate it first the Truma, the Meister Rishon, Meister Shani, and then give it to him, to the Kohen. But over here, if the guy says the Parsha, we're going to think, oh, this is legit Bikurim, and Bikurim don't require Truma and Meisters. And there, you might forget to go ahead and separate the Truma and Meisters. And therefore, in order to remember, it's going to be a little different by, you know, you. Bringing the Bikurim, but not saying the Parsha. Why didn't you say the Parsha? Because it was a suffix. It might not be Bikurim. Oh, so therefore we got to make sure mm -hmm. that we take out the Trumas and Meisters. Fine. Two dots. A little uh, coffee break. A little sip. No, 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 I'm good. No coffee. I talk with some of us. No coffee. Not sure good for the... I'm sure I can't be all... Yeah, the kids are... No coffee. <laughs> all right. Now. The, the BB weed that's... Uh, that comes after the parsha of Bikuri. Does okay. that set at the same time? Well, that's Vidur Meiser. That's on Pesach. Vidur Meiser. That's on Pesach. Uh, yeah, that's not setting. Just Bikurim. Different Meiser. Different Meiser. Different Meiser. Now we say. He divu lo yishafa. So now let's say he didn't send me, uh, sell me any land. According to the Rabbanan, two trees don't get any land. He sell me the land. So my, as the case was, I bought two trees from Azi. Starts to go on his land. So he can't go ahead and cut down my shoots because now they're over his land or in his way. So he gives up. So hey, he I mean, I, then we said, okay, and the stuff that comes from the trunk is mine. And the stuff that grow, good morning, uh, Yigal, we're on pay bays, I'm an Aleph. Uh, five lines from the top. We just got to the two dots. Wow. So, or six lines. So, if we said, if it comes, if it grows from the trunk, it's mine because I own the tree. But if it goes from the roots, which should come up to the ground, okay. then I know I was doing that yesterday. I had a roofer with me. Oh, good. Oh, yeah, discuss. Okay. Hair, hair is good. Uh, yeah, that's right. So, I had to make sure to use a uh, roof, right? So, he said, hey, can I mean, because of the hey, can I mean, so what is what's the what's the technical difference? How, how, you know, at what point is it considered to be from the from the bark from the trunk, and what point is it from the roots? Some Rabbi Yechonah culture, Rabbi anything that grows right, uh, you know, that is overground, right, is uh, for the that's considered for the trunk. 
But if, let's say if, if, it, if it sprouts out from an area, let's say not from the roots, let's say, that's considered to be from the roots. Ah, so maybe it's going from the from the uh, low down, and it's growing, and then but let's say the dirt comes around, then it appears to be like a third tree. So if it's a third tree, then I own all the land, right? We saw in the Mishnah, right? We saw the Mishnah the Venus here that you sell two trees, but according to the Rabban, the land is not included in between. But if you sell three trees, the land is included. So maybe that. People will get confused. So, Marmalade, uh, you sold it to me, the Eastly are, and I have the land. So, hello, I'm Rabbi Nachman. No, it's still his. I have a problem, it's going to grow and uh, dirt will be covered. It means he cuts, in other words, if it goes from the roots, then the other guy who owns the land, he gets those furrows, but he has to go ahead, should cut them immediately because, in order not to have confusion, uh, later on. So Amarav Nachman, uh, Nachman says not Nachtinon Dekel Ein Lo Gesa. So we have the statement of a Dekel, a palm tree, does not have growths from like the from the trunk. Ein Lo Gesa. So Severav Zvi the main Mar Ein Lo Gesa Lebal Dekel. Right. Uh, it, really, what it means is that the, there is no uh, growths or shoots. Sprouts, whatever you call it, to the owner of a tree on a palm tree. The cave and the machap, the sharish koi asukim asiach daite. Since in the case, I go back to the case where I bought the two trees from Azi. Now we said I don't get the land or anything, the tree dies. So therefore, and normally palm trees do not rejuvenate, but you don't prune them to, 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 you know, by the top to rejuvenate. So therefore, basically, whatever's growing is going to grow. And then the tree will be uprooted. And then, you know, basically my investment is over because the tree is coming out and it's going back to, you know, Ozzy's land. And therefore I have no, nothing in mind that sprouts or things will ever grow. And that's what that vague statement of Rav Nachman was, no gezer. So mask of Rav Papa, of a hawk, kainesh ne ilanos, but understand. We said one who goes and buys two trees, two trees, any trees, it doesn't exclude anything. Now what I, I go ahead and buy two trees. The two trees eventually die. They're uprooted and taken out. But coming nevertheless, it says the Yeshla gets it. They do get the sprouts. So in other words, it's not just the growth, but even any sprouts that go through. So Alan Rav Papa. So Rav Papa says, no, look, Knech. Ain't lo geza lebal dekel lefiche maitzi gezem. Palm trees are different. They do not grow. They generally, for the most part, rarely, rarely, rarely ever grow any sort of uh, shoots or sprouts or something from the trunk, and therefore the guy who buys it never has in mind that he's going to go ahead and acquire those if they grow out. So therefore, that when the Mishnah said the case of the trees, that the person gets the, the any growths from the trunk, it was not, according to our Papa, it was not referring to any palm trees. I was Zvid Kasha, but according to our Zvid, it does include palm trees, so why doesn't he get those growths? So Masni said, the Zav in Luchamishanim, over there, let's say the Mishnah was talking about a case of where he bought it for five years. Let's say the rice of the tree for five years, and therefore there will be sprouts and there will perhaps be new growths or new plantings. And therefore, that's the reason why that guy does anticipate uh, growths. And therefore, since it's not just when the first harvest is over, you take out the trees, it's the first harvest is over. I still got more years coming. It was a five year lease. And therefore, uh, I would get the growths. And that's why the mission says any growths from the trunk uh, go to the buyer. Fine. Three lines in the bottom. If it's the next case, the safe of remission, it says over there, Kanish Leisha, the person goes ahead and buys three trees. Kanish Karka, he does get the oh. ground in between. So the Kama, how much, how much do you get in between? Amrab Chiyabar Abba, Amrab Yechanan, Hareze Kanatachteyam, Ubeneyam, Vukutzulahan, Kamole. Uh, by the way, the, the picture on the bottom, the, the land looks, I think it's like the, the world's first uh, fidget spinner. Yeah, the, the, yes. yes, it looks like yes. it has other things. But anyway, so what was I going to say? So you have three trees uh, right over here. Here, Eddie, right here. See? I see. You know, oh, yeah. Yeah. The class, oh. the fidget spinner. Right. So, right. Yeah. so you got three trees. So it says over there, what do you acquire? Tachteam, underneath them, underneath the actual tree, right? Benayam, you 
sort of imagine you take a, 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 a string, right? And you put around the three trees, creating mm -hmm. a triangle. You get any of that area there. And also, around them, Kamali, the width of a person able to go ahead and harvest it and put it in his basket. So you get the three trees. I got the three avenues. So I need enough space all in between and also around the trees and area for the person to go ahead and be able to pick. Uh, so understand. So normally, if the guy is, gives me the land, so then he doesn't necessarily, according to the Rabbanon, right, get any special unique path, right, to the uh, to the area, right? He doesn't get a path to the area, and therefore, he's not generous. So why are you generous around the tree for him to be able to go ahead and walk around with the basket to do that? <clears throat> why are you being generous and giving him that? You're not generous when it comes to a derech, right, through the guy's uh, field to go there. Why are you being generous? When uh, I was... Three trees in a field. He does not get the. We went through that. The, right. the way to get to. He does not get the dare. We according to the Rabbana. Right. So yeah, soon see. We'll soon see. Why don't you say the Rabbi Akiva? We'll, we'll soon get into it. We'll soon get into it. Let's see. So he says, as he says, Hashdech ain't no Arab Sali. So the Gemara says, Derech ain't no. The Arab Chrisi. Right. So he says, no. The derech he doesn't get right because of the land he right or the salo so it says or, uh, so he says of our salo yeshlo so why should we get the or the salo so Reb Zera the Divir Rabbeinu Nilman Shleisha who de ma derech hashnayim yeshlo and now first of all let's look here you didn't have this question when it came to two so it must be that when it's two okay you have to go ahead you don't have a really significant land you might just have a thin strip by two or even just two you have the tree you over there you get a derech right because you're not getting any land since you're not getting land you're going to get the derech but once you're getting land i'm not throwing in a free derech free rights you know when i say derech i mean rights to go ahead and walk on my land <laughs> so the says up there it must be that three since he doesn't get land, they know derech. Oh, shnai meish the derech. So I'm really ba'ora a derech kaimi, right? So he says because you know you got your own land, right? You got your own land. Yeah, you know, didn't worry about that. You want more land, buy the rights. Somebody Rav Rav Nachum Bar Yitzchak Lo Ravos. So Leim Rav Elza less lay the Shmuel. Meyo does not like Shmuel. Rabbi like his Rabbi. Damer Shmuel halach Rabbi Kiva. The Amar Meicher Ba'in Yapa Meicher. So we say that Shmuel holds. Like yeah, like, yeah. Uh, like 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 Rabbi Kiva, Rabbi Kiva, you got land. Okay, so I'm throwing in a free right, a free easement to go ahead and walk on the land. So la mizukma masnisi Rabbi Kiva. We cannot go ahead and establish the mission like Rabbi Kiva. Why is that? Who says that when a seller sells, he's generous with his uh, sell, his sale. To my midatani, he dilu yishafa. It says over there, if the person, let's say, buys three trees and gets land, so therefore we said in the Mishnah that if you start having sprouts or shoots from the tree over the seller's land, then the seller can go ahead and cut it off. It says you're you can have branches on your tree, just have the branches on your land, not my land. So I'm cut, I can cut it off. So wait, Rabbi Kiva would say a guy is generous, right? So you can't do that. He so that's Rabbi Akiva. He if he thinks Rabbi Akiva, Amai Shafa, Amar Meicha Behind Yafa Meicha. He's generous. Oh, your 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 branches go ahead and, and, and go out in my land. No problem. Samalei Eimod Am Rabbi Akiva Gavi Bar Vadus Tolei Machish Yora. It could be maybe over there that when it comes to a pit or sister, in other words, that it doesn't go ahead and uh, affect anything. However, Gavi Elon Mishmi Isle. When it comes to a tree, who says Rabbi Kiva doesn't say he pipes up and says, you know, I keep your stuff on your property and my stuff on my property. In other words, he might include things in the property, but once I give you property, you know, I got my rights, you got your rights, right? Mila Modi, Rabbi Kiva, does Rabbi Kiva not agree in a case of Elon? I know you said a Chavero, and you have a case of a tree that leans over to his, uh, his friend's yard. Shekaitates, Malim Ardea, Mel Gabin Machrishka. That he can go ahead and let's say his trees are all of a sudden over, over stretched into your, your yard. That I am a lot, even for Rabbi Kiva, I'm allowed to go ahead and trim it. That I'm able to go ahead and you know plow it. And so the trees are not you know too low. I'm able to cut them high enough that my plow, you know, my plow guy can go ahead and go underneath it. 
So even Rabbi Kiva agrees that there are rights that says, you know what, you keep your stuff on your side and my stuff on my side. So Rabbi Kiva agrees to that. So maybe why can't you say this is Rabbi Kiva? Uh, so therefore, you can say it's Rabbi Kiva. And Tanya Kavose, the presence of Rabbi Kiva Rava, Hareze Kana Tachteyem, Ubeneyem, Vachutzalem, Kamali, Oyre Vesal. We have another person that says, Beferish, that when a person does go ahead and buy three trees, he acquires underneath them, uh, between them, and even outside of the perimeter of each tree in order for a person to go ahead and harvest the food uh, and walk around with his basket. Mm -hmm. And Amar Leia, by the Rav Yaisev, Aysan Arvasalo, Mi Zon. Okay, so that area around, right? Let's say, so let's, let's just call it theoretically Dalar Abbas. And some see perhaps there's a blade around. But let's this theory around who is allowed to go ahead and plant in that area? Mizaran. So Amar Leia, Tanisua, Hachisaid, Zare Sadar. So we have a case. Now, basically, the land around it, you have the rights to go ahead and, and pluck it. So when land is included, right, I buy a land inside someone else's land. There's no other way access to the land. So I get a right to, you know, I, I, I'm right there. So who's allowed to go ahead and plant on that walkway I have through your yard? Let's say I buy it within Yiga. So who can plant over there? It's my yard in the middle. Yigal surrounded me, but I have a right through Yigal's yard. So, so who's allowed to go ahead and plant in that derech? So Achitan Zayas a derech. Yigal can go out and plant there. I can walk on it, all right? So I, you know, I can walk down it, but it doesn't hurt me, right? If he plants there, it might hurt Yigal because I could be walking his plants, but that's you know that's his risk. Shamalei me dummy. Hasam let's say say to the calf over there. It, the the buyer is indifferent whether the uh, the seller right uh, plants on his path. How about about Huck, but over here, Eslip say that look over here. The buyer does have you go ahead, you start uh, planting underneath it. It's money. You're watering it. Darley, uh, can we not be paid? It? You're ruining my fruits. My fruits fall down and they come onto your your dirty soiled uh, planted area. You're ruining my fruits. So therefore, the owner of the tree can say, I don't want you planting underneath it because it's, you know, it ruins my fruits. You say it's the other way around, that the falling fruit is really ruining the ground of the beer. Right, but he's doing it, but, but he, he's doing it at his own risk. Now, the same oh, way the guy who oh, plants yeah, on the there right. is his own risk, right. but the other guy has no time to back. I mean, he can say, oh, he, he makes my walk harder. Yeah, it's it's a on it. Yeah. But that's... <laughs> The so Gemara says, "Hala damya el the sefer." No, it's only different. He said, "The zev zev ain't a rishay in the zari." Over there, the guy has a derek, and he basically made a path that I'll give you the rights to the path, uh, the safe over there, um, but you can't do anything but walk through there. That's what Yigal's saying to me, and I basically in return say, "Okay." So now Yigal's giving basically me the rights, the exclusive use of the land. As long as my usage is strictly to walking. Oh. And if that's the case, says the Seifa, right? Neither one is able to go ahead and see. So just like over there, neither one is able to go ahead and plant. Yeah. So too over here, under the tree, you can't go ahead and plant. And Tani Kva say the Bayi. We have Bryson Smart of Bayi. How raise that? Kana Tachtei and moving Aya and the Chutzulahen Kamali Oy Rivasalo. So the person when he buys three trees, he say he acquires underneath them, between them, and around them, and the amount of space around them, amount in order for a person to pick and to put in his basket. But Zev Zev and Rishon Nazari, and it says over there first that neither one is able to go ahead and plant underneath the area. The Kami Ei Benayim. And how much is in between these trees, right? You sell me three trees, you know, on your huge estate. One, you know, uh, you know, two hundred yards that way. One there, and there. You say I own all the land in between, right? So that doesn't make sense. And that's not an orchard. And once again, also, if it's too close to each other, then the trees aren't going to go ahead and last. So there's really no intentions of selling the land because you're not going to have that area for too long. So the Kami Eben answer. Rabbi Yisrael, May Arba Amos Ad Shmona. It has to be between four to eight between each one. That's the sufficient amount. And Rava uh, and between the trees. Between the trees. And Rava Amar double eight says Rava. Uh, so Rava Amar. Rav Nachman Amar Shmuel. So and Rava quoted Rav Nachman Amar Shmuel. Mishmona Ve'ad Sheishes. Eight to sixteen. So one says four to eight Amos. 
And the other one says eight two sixteen. It's Amar Le Abaye. So it says uh, it's double. Uh, yeah, four to eight or eight to sixteen. So let's see. So I'm really a buy. The Rav Yehi say, "Loi tiflu galad the Rav Nachman." Do not argue with Rav Nachman, who says basically up to sixteen. The Tanah we learn in the Mishnah. The Tanah is the Kavase. We have we we learn the Mishnah in support of him. The Tanah we learn in the Mishnah. Had nightes karmel sheish esrei amo al sheish esrei amo. One who goes ahead and he plants rows every sixteen amos. So you know a or whatever one two three four five right so ten rows let's say right ten rows of 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 the vineyard right the vines you know they're all parallel to one another every sixteen amos. Mutter lahavi zera l'sham. You can go ahead and plant in between them. Right, and normally you can't go ahead and mix seeds, no. right? So there's a halacha. Now, if it's not in an orchard or a, excuse me, a vineyard, right? Then let's say just one single vine. So you got to stay away. Uh, an ama, an ama is uh, an ama's worth away. You can go ahead and plant by vines as long as it's not in a vineyard, yeah. right? Just a stray one. Is you got you got to be at least one ama away. They didn't go ahead and do it. If it's in a vineyard, can't plant in a vineyard. All right, so what makes a vineyard? So now we're saying, let's say these are 16 away from each other. Is the space in between a vineyard or is it too far apart from one another, right? So in the case of 16, every 16, he says over there, you're allowed to go ahead and plant. It's not qualify as a vineyard and therefore you can plant in between. And I'm going to be, who the mice of a time I thought it was a case where first one had in Shinata is karma, she's real, she's great. Exactly this case. He did that. He did ten rows of sixteen every sixteen amos. But yeah, how you think? Uh, uh, shash, uh, uh, shash. Uh, say our stay shorus letzad echad. But there is a a snail shana cheres. So what would he do? He went ahead and he did one. And as he would face the crops, would face uh, let's say to the inside. So one and two would face each other. Okay. So but between one and two, there was. Uh, 16. Okay, so they would be in. And then, so two was facing towards one. And three would be facing towards four. All right? So there wouldn't be anything growing inside between the space of two and three. So that was a full 16 almost away from one another. And they and so during every other year, you know, they didn't want to plant every year, so they do plant every other year. So during that year, the first year, they would plant between rows Two and three, as long as it wasn't with one ama of the vines. All right, there's actually a picture in the art scroll. Those are the art scroll, I think, on the next or on the, the last page. I'll show one second, Eddie. In the next year, they would first the other way, right? They would have two and three face each other, and therefore, one nothing was growing in the space of one, and then they would plant in the area of one and three, and in every other one, they would do that. Uh, and then they were facing the place where it was area of Azera Sabor, uh, 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 Sabor, right? And then they, they would go ahead and be able to go ahead and plant the area that was not done the year before. So those of you who have the, uh, want to take a look at the article for a second. So you see that the plants face in and that it says over there, the, the areas in that picture where it shows 14 is because the two ones at the end are with one ama of the actual growth. Right, there's, there's 16 in between, but it shows 14 because, once again, you can't do it because it's not a vineyard, you can't do it within one. So we see over here that the distance of 16 allows one to go ahead and plant in between. However, and that's not considered, that's not, that's not planting it together. It's a question. However, Amale, I I don't know what you're talking about. I only know I know a case. I don't know that case. I don't know I know Ella Uvda Havi Bedu uh Rice, so they it's an area of the shepherds. But also the Kame Drav you the Kim Rabbi Yud of Amale, Zil Havle Kamale, Bakar Bakalov. You want to go ahead as long as there is space of a bakar, basically to plow, uh, uh, and it's uh, utensils. I didn't know how much that was. Uh, so he had a Tanan. Elon That person should not go ahead and plant a tree. Right? Let's say fruit is next to a field. Right? Uh, so the Chaveiro Elim Kane. Here, Chik Mimena Dalad Amos. 
unless you have tal, uh, four almas in between. The tani, we go over there. Dal and almas shamru. That dal and You say kadei abayda sakaram. Right. That is the amount to go ahead and to uh, to work a field. So you need dal and almas. And I mean, so we learn there. Shemim dal kamali bakar vekelam dal and So we learn over there that kamali bakar is four almas. So therefore, like the first shita. Four amos, that's the amount uh, in between, and not the other one of uh, eight to 16. Right, so we'll stop here. What is 